Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for the Mac 254 or any of the Mac boxes. Um, first thing you have to do, unplug the box, uh, plug it back in, and it will load, the box will load. And when you see uh, this loading screen, right after this, there's uh, the screen will come and say, in order to get into the setting, press the menu button. The menu button is the three line button right here. So I'm gonna press the menu button as soon as I see um, the loading screen. When, the lo when I press this button, it will automatically get into system setting. And from there on, I could actually go into a software update where there is an option to update the software to the latest version of the firmware for the box, okay? Let's hold on until the box loads up and we will see the, the menu button and it will ask you to press the menu button. Right here, you will press the menu button right here and I am pressing the menu button and it's going to take a few seconds. Okay, so I when I got into the menu, there is an option to get into system setting and when you go into the system setting, you will see uh, it will get it to this screen where are very many options you have to go to the option called software update and when you are in the software update it will show you the the URL address where the software will be downloaded for the Mac 254 any of the boxes is informer uh, update dot, inf uh, dot informer dot com slash Mac 254 and image update so when you go there and you press the OK button it will bring up and it will tell you what's the update available and if your box is not updated it will tell you what's the latest update so the new version of the update is december 19 2017 and i'm gonna start updating this box okay so in order to do that you just have to press the f button f1 button and that f1 button is the red button on your remote you press that button and it will automatically start downloading and Within few minutes or so, you will see the, the inspection, then file checking the kernel and updating the kernel. It usually takes about uh, five minutes for the update to happen. So I'll come back as soon as the update is done. Oh, one more thing, while it is updating, uh, don't unplug the box or try to turn it off because in the middle of the update, it might stop working. So if you are doing this, make sure you have uh, power uh, and internet connection properly. If you don't, it might screw the box up and you have to you know, update the image manually by USB. It's done 77%, it's about two minutes and it's almost done. And when it's uh, update is done, the box will automatically uh, reload, um, restart, uh, which will bring back to the main screen where you can see um, the portal loading options. So it's 99% done and the box is reloading. So the box automatically loads, uh, reloads, and it will come back to a screen where I could choose the portal. So this is the portal uh, choosing uh, screen and I'm going to choose the portal that I have set up so already uh, for the IPTV and let me, oh. so I'm going to choose the portal and it will start loading. It's going to take a few seconds before it loads and you could see the portal started loading. There we go almost done yep the portal started loading and I'm gonna have the IPTV in a second great so IPTV is ready to go all subtle it's all good Okay, so if any question, comments, uh, leave it below. I will answer any questions. And thank you for watching. Bye.